Autumn's finally here and there's some really big changes happening in the natural world. The nights are drawing in, it's getting colder. The greens are being replaced by these lovely autumnal tints. It's a great time to get out and see nature's fireworks. I'm here at Hampstead Heath. It's probably one of London's most beautiful open spaces. It's a magical place to go for a walk. And of course, one of the, the things about this time of year are the spectacular colours that our deciduous trees go shortly before they lose their leaves. And this is, is partly sort of a chemical response. The, the plant is recycling all of the good nutrients out of the, the leaves, taking away those things which you can use again, and it's dumping into the leaves all the things which are the rubbish products. Um, so when the leaves are shed, it can get rid of both pests and other diseases, but also sort of chemicals which are no longer necessary. And of course the byproduct for us is this glorious show of colour which gives us the autumn tints and makes this time of year so very special. In Britain, many of our native trees, although they go beautiful colours in, in, the, in the autumn, they have a fairly restricted palette tends to be the yellows, the oranges and the browns. And it's only some of these North American and Asiatic trees that we grow as ornamentals, which have got this really intense scarlet colour, like, like this liquid amber, Staracea fluor. And I, I guess that's what makes the, the fall in, in North America such a spectacular thing. But this is just absolutely stunning, this colour. In a, in a sort of marvellous hedgerow and hedgerows are just so important. It's a habitat which has been largely destroyed in much of our, our sort of uh, countryside because they've been ripped out to make for bigger fields. But these hedges provide so much. They are a reservoir of, of, of seeds for the wild plants and allow things to survive here. But also they provide an amazing food resource for the birds and other animals to get through the very worst of the winter. So like this spindle with its lovely pink fruits and orange seeds, the rose hips and the buckthorn berries, and they're all going to provide a food source through the winter for our, our wild creatures. One of the nice things about being here at Hampstead Heath is they're not obsessed with tidiness but they are allowing the dead wood to remain either standing or, or falling like this and that provides home for so many rare and important little creatures, plants and of course this marvellous array of fungi on the wood as it breaks slowly down. Here you can see sort of erupting from this, this dead trunk, these sort of tufts I think from the colour, this sort of bright yellow underneath, this is probably the sulphur tuft fungus. I don't think it's particularly edible to us, but it's obviously edible to something. You can see little nibble marks in the caps of these fungi here. Here we've got these marvellous little puff balls. This little fungus here is actually a much bigger organism. It's spreading amongst the leaf litter and through the soil here as fine silky like threads, the mycelium, and only a small part of it is actually produced up here as the spore bearing structure which is going to puff out spores very soon and disperse them so that these will come up elsewhere in this lovely woodland.
amazing thing about fungi, these mushrooms and toadstools, is just a variety of shape and sizes that you can find. It's this lovely little example here. And they're like magic, they just sort of come up overnight. Suddenly they're there and they're gone again as soon, as soon as they've, they've spread their spores, they've died away, perhaps just in a couple of days, sometimes less than that. great disadvantage of this time of year is that it gets dark so early so there's so little time to actually enjoy the countryside. We've had a super day here, mists and mellow fruitfulness, a kaleidoscope of colours. And I just encourage everybody to, if you can, find a little bit of time to go out and appreciate the world around you. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm.